so hey 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 my people good hey hey african family africans in the diaspora and african in uh, africans in the motherland i just wanted to introduce you to some things you know i wanted to introduce you to all things african the arise africa studio is coming up together and today i just wanted to teach you a little bit about our african culture and how rich and authentic of a culture we have and how you know our histories have have been depleted by the you know by the you know who who decided to write our history and and you know if you give people a chance to write your history they will never write the truth about who we are and i just want us to come back to the table and know ourselves go back to our roots as africans so i'm introducing these african sandals look at that so these sandals are made out of cataya and so the black part is the cataya and the other part the fabric it's the it's the it's the it's the it's a uh, kenyan kenyan um kenyan fabric it's called the lesser fabric you know just an authentic african kenyan fabric so look at that you know just the normal cataya this is made out of men and women they don't need to go to a factory to do this so once a, a, a car a tire a car is worn out and they use the car tire to cut they cut it into pieces and decide to use it to just design sandals and these sandals are long lasting they they last long they could last for 10 over 10 years and and so look at that look underneath underneath the sandals is you know the the, the trucks the those are the car tire designs you know that's the way it is sorry it's a little bit dirty but whatever so yeah and uh so yes yeah, so these 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 are the african sandals and and uh, i just want to show you how you know we were able to make stuff by ourselves we were able to to make our own stuff we did not need anybody to introduce factories to us these things are made are made in africa by individuals and these people just make these things they could make so many of them in a day and go sell it and it's it's a one-man job it's not like something that is done as a community this is how and strong and resilient we were we were able to make our things without you know waiting for somebody to build factories for us we were we had our own industrialization so when someone tells you that we did not have our own industrialization as african people they are lying to you and if you want to believe these narratives these negative narratives about your own people about your ancestors then i'm sorry for you because you know what you'll never know who you are the, the knowing who you are is also knowing your narrative, knowing your history, knowing where you come from, what you did, the, what you worshipped, you know, what you wore it's in, as clothes, what you ate, your food. And I'll be introducing all that in this channel. Look at this. this the next thing here is an African bag. So it's made out of sisal. It's made out of sisal and leather. So the, the hand of the bag, the hand of the bag, the hand of the bag is made out of leather so that's a, a leather hand, hand yeah the hand of the bag is made out of leather and down here the green and and, and cream part that is a that is a sisal it's just a sisal plant and with mothers who sit down women who sit down even with their daughters and design these bags they hold them they would not know that they would even right now they do it they would design these bags the whole day women would make 20 to 30 bags and still be able to take care of their families take care of their husbands and their children go to the farm and grow food and cook and clean and and still come back and design 20 to 30 of these bags every day to make them ready for market you know fridays we have the markets on fridays and saturdays and they go sell and make their own money so if someone tells you that africans are lazy black people are lazy that is a big fat lie because we have always had our own designs we've always had our own authentic materials and fabrics and we've made our own stuff we do not need to carry some bag that is made from china or from other people other races this is our african bag look behind you that's an, an african basket that you can use for fruits and vegetables you did not we do not need anybody to have to to design plastics plastics are even not even good for our health you know plastics are not good for our health you use these for vegetables and and just to put your things together look at that that's a beautiful sisal basket you know and then look i love my mombasa tree it's all coming together and you know i just love it, it reminds me of kenya it reminds me of mombasa my mombasa palm tree 
it's beautiful to be reminded of home to remind our divine sisters and who we are up there just look at that beauty is is um is um what do you call it is um is um is, is sorry up there is um is a what do you call it is a it, it's a it's a a basket it's a ba up there up there is a basket and this basket is made out of banana leaves so it's a ugandan it's a ugandan raffia basket it's called a raffia basket and it's made out of banana leaves and look at us as African people, we did not waste time. So you, as you harvest your bananas to eat for your family, to use as a meal for your family, we keep the banana leaves and we use these banana, banana leaves to make bags, to make our own baskets, you know. This basket can be used for, for, for grains and for fruits and vegetables. We did not use plastics and that's why we were never sick. And that's why even right now people in motherland are not sick because they don't use plastics so and look at that so this is um a senegalese material so this fabric is um it's a senegalese fabric and it's called an indigo cloth a shibori a senegal shibori this material has so much history this fabric has so much history and you know what they do they 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 pound this uh, uh they found this together until it becomes silky so when you touch it it's not uh, it's not like a cotton fabric but it has a silkish look and feel to it it's very expensive it's a very rich material props up to senegal for having such beautiful authentic rich material i love this blue and i'm going to use this to send to a friend of mine that i met on youtube she's in the u.s he is in the u.s and he did his ancestry dna and he was told that he was he is from senegal so i want to send this to him just to remind him of his ancestry and who he is it i feel so sad when i hear that my brothers and sisters in the u.s are lost and they don't know who they are or who their ancestry who, who, what their ancestry is so i hope this fabric will help him to connect with his ancestry and to know who he really is because you know i want my brothers and sisters to know themselves so yes, fam, so that's it. I just wanted to introduce you to all things African. This is my Arise Africa studio coming up together and I'm just loving it. I'm just loving. I'm also learning, look, despite being born in Kenya, you you, you cannot, we, we don't know. We also have issues knowing who we really are. Despite being born in Kenya, we have issues knowing, we, we, we don't really, really, uh despite being born in kenya i still need to learn more about who i am and i'm learning as i go i'm learning as i go i'm learning to accept my authenticity my africanness you know in fabrics in designs in in things that i use in my house because i know that our ancestors never got diseases because they used everything on authentic plant-based you know they didn't go buying plastic and things made out of chemicals that would make them sick so guys Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it with your friends, with your families, with anybody that you know. And if you need any of these materials that I have here, fabrics, any of these baskets, any of these issues, you can, any of these uh, stuff, African stuff, you know, you can email me, you can drop a comment and um, I can share with you on where to find them or I can get them for you. Thank you and enjoy and have a very good day. Bye.